Hi gamers! Have you ever played a game that you think is amazing but doesn't get enough attention? I know that feeling and I want to show you some underrated Metroidvania games that you might want to play. Make sure you're in a comfortable position before we get into the list. Alright then, without further ado, let's get started. Pinotopia Awakening managed to stand out among the crowded genre of Metroidvania by offering a more low-key experience. The story follows Gale, a young orphan on a quest to uncover the truth about her home. Exploration is a key element in the game. Each room feels significant, with puzzles that require attention to detail and intelligent thinking to solve. The controls are traditional, with movement, jumping, and attacking. There are also a challenging sprinting system that adds enjoyable layer of difficulty. Combat requires careful timing due to the win up before each attack, and managing your stamina adds another layer of strategic gameplay. Lone Fungus is a Metroidvania inspired by Hollow Knight. You play as the last surviving fungus as you embark on a quest through an ancient city, fighting bosses, and collecting various items along the way. The game's combat has also been traced, with smooth controls and a variety of approach options. Most battles are another hike like of Lone Fungus, with a perfect balance of challenge and understanding. The variety of spells, magic, and abilities at the player's disposal, combined with smooth movement options such as double jumps, dashes, and wall bounces, make for a fluid and enjoyable combat experience. Islets is a classic Metroidvania with beautiful aesthetics and rock-solid gameplay. You will play as a young warrior named Iko in a world that has been divided into several pieces. The main goal is to reunite the island by repairing the magnets on each one. You can use your airship to navigate an overworld area, upgrade your ship, and engage in aerial combat against enemies. Each island has at least two boss battles, which increase in difficulty as the story progresses. Combat is simple, with a useful dodge move and a spirit bow that can recharge itself with enemy damage. The game is not overly difficult, but still offers a good levels of challenge. The Mummy Demastered is a brilliant game that combines elements from classic 16-bit action platformers like Contra, Castlevania, and Metroid. The ability to carry two guns and a grenade-type weapon at a time offers a diverse range of options from conventional firearms to more exotic choices like flamethrower and a harpoon gun. The feature's handling of life and death is notable. After dying, players become undead and start over from the last save point without gear. Player can get their weapons, ammo, and health upgrades back by finding and defeating the zombies. This mechanic adds a refreshing layer of survival and progression to the gameplay. Hunter X is a simple fun Metroidvania that offers visual presentation like Castlevania game with solid gameplay. You play as Suki, a devil hunter guided by a small demon. The controls are responsive, and the combat is both simple and deep enough to allow you to experiment with different spells and abilities. The game is challenging, especially with the bosses. The map design is solid for a Metroidvania game, with missed items and bosses clearly mark one ship and counter them. There's a teleport system to help you with navigation, allowing you to revisit areas that you've already explored. Shadow Complex Remastered offers tight fast-paced action and a rewarding gameplay experience. The game follows the story of Jason Fleming and his mission to find his captured girlfriend and uncover the motives of kidnapping faction. The gameplay involves exploring large facility, obtaining weapons and upgrades to progress through previously inaccessible areas. You will find various weapons like pistols, submachine guns, and shotguns as well as secondary weapons like grenades. While the game allows for stealth gameplay, shooting your way through is the primary approach. 
Melee combat is limited, but you can perform instant melee kills when close to the enemies. Unsighted is an action adventure game that combines elements of Zelda and Metroidvania. The combat is fast paced and satisfying, with a focus on parrying enemies and setting up counter attacks. Comboing is a key mechanic for dealing significant damage. Building a combo meter requires consecutive attacks without being hit, and the meter scales up to the double damage. You can boost your combo meter by using attacks that hit quickly or multiple times. Combining spin attack chips, sword damage chip, and stunning enemies will result in devastating damage, especially against difficult bosses. Castellon Tears of the Earth is a Metroidvania platformer that combines Castlevania with RPG mechanics. The game introduces players to the three main characters. You can swap each character directly with own unique abilities. The game offers a satisfying mix of gameplay, a compelling story, and a variety of achievements and unlockables. Defeated enemies will drop orbs, and you can use as currency to purchase character upgrades, temporary buffs, and special items. The freedom to customize your party based on personal preferences adds to the game replayability. Fans of Metroidvania should consider checking out this amazing adventure. Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom is inspired by the Wonder Boy series. You play as Jin, a young man on a mission to stop his uncle Curse, and you will unlock different animal transformation throughout the game. Each animal form has unique abilities and combining them with a range of weapons, shield, and armor, switching between forms and equipment to exploit their strengths at layers of strategy to the gameplay. The game encourages exploration and puzzle solving, reminiscent of Legend of Zelda, where players must use multiple forms in sequence to solve puzzles and progress throughout the game. Haak is a fast-paced action metroidvania in which you play as a young man on a mission to find his missing brother. The gameplay is wise. Haak offers a satisfying mix of platforming and combat. As you progress, Haak gains new powers that open up previously inaccessible areas, much like other games in the metroidvania genre. The combat may be button smashy, but the platforming mechanics more than makes up for it. Visually, the game stands out with its unique pixelated style, complemented by parallax backgrounds, atmospheric lighting effects, and a well-chosen color palette. Sante series, the iconic indie gaming character, had a rocky start with her debut on the Game Boy Color. The story revolves around Sante. A half Jenny guardian defending Scuttle Town from the evil pirate queen. The game follows a Metroidvania style with interconnected maps and dungeons. These dungeons provide standout moments with a mix of platforming, puzzle solving, and combat. The combat, although simplistic, gains depth with consumable weapons and animal upgrades that offer traversal options. Each game in the series offers its own unique experience, making it difficult to pick a favorite. Eterna Noctis is a demanding Metroidvania game that draws inspiration from titles like Castlevania and the Metroid series. You play as King of Darkness, who has been defeated by Queen of Light and banished to the realm of Eterna. The combat in Eterna Noctis is intense and requires precision. You can choose to be melee-oriented players, magic based, or focus on survival attributes. Eterna Noctis is known for having difficult combat and difficult platforming section. The game introduces difficulty through drops of the genre, which can lead to repetitive problems that might not feel satisfying to solve. Moonscars is a dark and powerful Metroidvania adventure with elements of Souls-like. The story follows the protagonist Grey Irma on a violent mission to find the sculpture and uncover the truth about her missing comrades. The combat is fast-paced, 
players can dash, parry, and unleash a variety of magical attacks that consume an Ikor Gouge. The game features an extensive skill tree and a wide variety of amulet stones that offers different benefits allowing players to customize their character builds with complicated mazes, with shortcuts and secrets that lead to challenging boss battles that test your fighting skills and passions. Grime is a stunning game that combines the rock-hard essence of Souls-like and Metroidvania genre. The game offers tough combat and challenging platforming, enemies hit hard and your stamina deflates rapidly, creating a sense of tension and urgency. Varying enemy attacks can provide opportunities for healing, but it requires careful timing and decision-making. The map in Gram is a dense network of tunnels, chambers, and hidden areas interconnected in unexpected ways. I think this game is must-play for fans of Metroidvania fans. That's Gambit Alter Life is the underrated challenging Metroidvania platformer with deep RPG elements. The game begins with the protagonist Sorun awakening amidst a grim battlefield filled with burning corpses and scattered weapons. Combat mostly similar like Souls game, players can dodge, parry, and block enemy attacks all while managing a stamina bar. Surprisingly, the stamina system in this game is forgiving, allowing players to execute multiple actions without fear of running out. There are hidden bosses, breakable walls, and secret areas. The gameplay experience becomes even more exciting as you discover these hidden gems. You continue to feed into this cycle of death. So that's it for today. What do you think about this list? If you know another underrated Metroidvania games that probably deserve a spot in this list, feel free to share your underrated Metroidvania in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe to this channel if you don't want to miss another great list. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.